Here's our review of the best live streaming software for PC in 2025. We've tested all the leading options and we've narrowed it down to the top live streaming apps right now so that you can find the best one for you. Now, I've actually got some big changes in our recommendation from last year, so let's jump in. So my first recommendation is EVMux. This is gonna be great for someone who is an absolute beginner who has never live streamed before, right up to someone who is more advanced because this tool is one that can really scale with you. So as a beginner, you can jump in here. You're not gonna be overwhelmed. It's really easy to get up to speed with a simple setup, but also progress through and get more advanced as your skill level increases, if that's something you're looking to do. Now I've gone back and forth here over the years between recommending EVMux and StreamYard, but right now StreamYard isn't one of my top recommendations. I would recommend EVMux over StreamYard based on our experiences and some issues and things that we've had. And also when you're looking at what's actually on offer, comparing pricing and all of that stuff, EVMux is now my recommendation. So EVMux is browser-based, which is awesome. It means that there's no downloads, nothing to install, and it's gonna work pretty much on any computer out there. So again, that barrier to entry and ease of use all comes into play here. But it's also one of many options in this space, just like StreamYard, that all share a very similar interface. So they all make it easy for you to connect your camera, connect your microphone, to do your screen share, to bring in guests. That's a really powerful feature that a lot of these tools have. And to be able to switch between different things easily with preset templates and titles and things that you can literally just click on and they're going to pop up in your stream. But one of the things I love about EVMux though is that it goes beyond that into giving you quite a detailed level of control and customization as to how everything looks and how things behave. And it actually has a lot more customization than pretty much all of those other options. To bring in guests, it's very easy. You just grab your unique link, you send that out to whoever you'd like to join, and your guests then can appear as a camera source or as a video feed in on your live stream. It also makes it really easy to multi-stream to different platforms as well. So YouTube, Facebook, all the main options. And really playing into its power band here of being web-based for you to stream to multiple places, you're actually only sending one feed or one upload stream from your computer or device through to EVMux servers, and then they worried about pushing it out to all the different places. Comparing that to most software solutions, if you wanna to broadcast to Facebook, to YouTube, and to Twitter, you've gotta actually broadcast to each one of those as separate feeds, meaning it's gonna have more strain, more load on your computer, but also your internet connection too. So I think EVMux is a great option, again, for someone who is at the beginner level, but also for people who do wanna dive in deeper because there is a great level of customization in here too. And obviously the beauty of it being web-based means that you don't need to have a super powerful computer to get a decent stream out of this. And there's also a ton of add-ons that you can easily add on to your live streaming experience to really take your streams up a notch as well. Things like adding some stats about your live stream, see how many people are watching on different platforms. There's a heap of stuff in there. And also the pricing is really competitive. They've got both individual and business plans. And you can see even the free version gives you so much more than a lot of the competition in this space in terms of giving you full HD 1080p streams. There is a watermark though on the free one, which is pretty standard but to remove the watermark and to unlock a lot more features, then you've got the basic plan here or the pro plan, which does unlock some cool stuff like ISO recording, where it's gonna record locally on your computer, but also locally on your guests' computers. And it's gonna automatically upload those for you to download the high quality versions after your stream as well. So this is great, not just for live streaming, this is also great for creating content too. So moving on to option number two, it's Prism Live Studio. This is another one that we've talked about quite a bit on this channel. Another one I've been a big fan of for a long time. And the biggest difference here straight out is that Prism Live Studio is software that you would download and install on your computer. But it is still very user-friendly, especially compared to some of the more advanced software that I'll talk about very soon. But just like EVMux, there is a long feature list. There are some cool overlays and graphics and widgets and a lot of animated stuff. There's even a drawing mode where you can easily draw on top of your live stream. And they've also got a built-in virtual camera function too, which will allow you to take whatever you're building in your Prism Live Studio in terms of different scenes and effects and those kinds of things, and actually pipe that through as a virtual webcam into your conference calls, things like Zoom or Teams or any of those apps. So you can use this for live streams 
streaming, you can use this for recording, or you can use it to really create a webcam on steroids as well. Again, just like EV Marks, there is a great level of customization as well. So this is good for dialing everything in, not as much as the more advanced options, but the overall user interface and experience, I'd say it's probably not as easy as EV Marks in terms of a really simple interface. This one is still easy to use. It is still good for beginners, but there's probably a little bit more of a learning curve to get up to speed. But given that it's software that's running on your computer, this does make it better in a lot of cases for people People doing things like gaming, streaming as well. There's actually a ton of features built in specifically for gaming. And there's also a heap of extra plugins and things that you can pipe into this as well to really, again, customize this up further. But also again, because it is software on your computer, this is when it comes to multi-streaming, meaning that we are gonna have to push our feed out to the multiple places instead of just one stream to a central location like EVMux server and them handling the multi-streaming from them. Not really a downside, just something you need to be aware of. But this one also comes with the price tag of free, making it great for anyone who doesn't want to spend any money or doesn't need to spend any money. So this is a great option again for beginner through to sort of an intermediate level for the people who like simplicity, but also for those that like to start to grow a little bit in their live streaming experiences and adding extra things like built-in chat, switching between different scenes and inputs, all of that stuff you've got here in Prism Live Studio. The next option is another great free tool. This one is OBS and it's probably the most popular live streaming tool out there because it's open source. It's unbelievably powerful and I'd say that it's good for someone at an intermediate level through to advanced given the learning curve that you'll need to get up to speed with that. Now don't worry, for a lot of these tools, we do have other tutorials and things to help you really get up to speed and I'll have those linked in the description box below. So it's definitely not as easy as jumping into an EV Mux and quickly clicking a few buttons and you're good to go. You're gonna have to go through some level of setup and customization to be able to stream. But also like the other options, it's not just streaming software. You could use this as your recording studio software as well and record directly into your computer. So just like Prism Live Studio, this one is software you will need to download and install on your computer as well. There is a Mac version, a Windows version. There is also a Linux version as well. And given how popular this is, there's also a massive knowledge base to help people get up to speed using this. And if you've got questions or issues, you're gonna be able to find the answer pretty easy. But there's also a massive plugin library for this as well. With it being open source and having that big cult following and community around it, you're gonna find there's lots of extra little bits and pieces that you can bolt on into this. So straight out of the box, there's no guest feature built into this, but again, there's plugins and things that will allow you to do it. OBS also has a virtual webcam feature, just like Prism Live Studio, but I'd say probably more customizable as well. There's lots more things you can do because OBS is a much more of a powerful beast of a system. It lets you control pretty much everything. So again, this is a great option for someone who is at that intermediate to advanced kind of level, someone who wants that maximum amount of control, who is probably more tech minded, or anyone who's willing to put in the time to learn and master this powerful tool. Or someone that needs something really specific for their setup, then I'm sure there'll be some sort of plugin or whatever to allow you to do it here in OBS. But for those of you that are looking for the most advanced live streaming software on Windows, then you can't go past vMix. And in terms of feature set, this is where OBS would be the closest to it, but I definitely prefer the interface, the usability, actually running live streams and things and even recording directly into the computer. I'd much prefer the interface and workflow of vMix than OBS. The way that it handles the different scenes, the different cameras, it is far more of a pro tool than OBS is. So there's good integrations with professional grade gear, lots of controls, it's really professional software. So if you're looking for the most amount of control over your live streams or your video recording and really wanna dial everything in from the video side to your scenes, what's happening with animations and transitions and things, right through to dialing in and customizing up your audio, then yeah, vMix is your answer. But vMix also has a built-in guest feature as well, and it is really robust. It's actually one of the very few that I've had any issues with, and I've been on both sides of it, creating streams where I'm running it, 
but also being on other people's live streams and podcasts and things where I'm a guest through vMix too. Now, in regards to pricing, there is a few different options. There is a 60-day free trial, which I would recommend before you dive into any of these, you either download the free version or the free trial, have a play around and see which is the best one for you because there is no perfect solution for everyone. So there is a 60-day trial of this. And then when we move to the options above that, this is where there is quite a few options. You can either go a lifetime license, so this is where we're paying once, or we can go a subscription license. And you can see you've got everything here from a $60 purchase for the basic HD license through to a 4K license for $700, again, one time, or it's $50 a month on their max subscription, which is really gonna unlock all of the functionality. And if you're weighing this up, like $50 per month for the actual top end professional stuff, it's pretty cheap when you start to look at some of those other options. But in order to really work out which is the best one for you, I guess you gotta get clear on first what it is you actually need. What are your requirements right now? But also what might your requirements be moving into the future as well? So this will help you decide whether something like EVMux is gonna be just the one option for you that's gonna allow you to jump in as a beginner, but also progress through to something more advanced. Or if you're someone who just wants to bite the bullet, learn OBS or vMix and know that you're using something that is capable for the long term. Again, it's gonna come down to your needs, but what I would suggest you take into consideration is finding one that is easy for you to use, that's not overwhelming with a bunch of extra settings and things, unless you need that. Find the one that's gonna allow you to get the job done that's easy and fun, because then you'll do more of it. Again, we've got links where you can dive deeper into a lot of these tools down in the description box below. And let me know in the comments, which one are you using or which one are you likely going to use after this? And you can also check out other people's recommendations in the comments too. I'll see you in the next video.